in the previous video, we created stories for the different epics. In this one, I'm going to show you how we can create tasks for the epic and also tasks for the story. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to create a task for the epic, which is pretty simple. We already done that. We can either press C on the keyboard or create. Make it with C. And we're going to change the issue type from story to task. And right here, task one. And we're going to add some text. And we're going to assign this task to an epic. Let's sign to epic number one. Okay. Let's open this task. And let's go to epic number one. And as you can see here, we have in the epic, we have two stories and the task. We can also tell what kind of issue types are assigned to or are linked to a specific item by this icon here. This is the icon for story, this is the icon for task, and this is the icon for epic. Okay, as I said before, we also want to make sure that we can create a task for a story. Let's do that. So we go to a story, and in order to create a task for a story, we need to create what is called as a subtask. So in order to do that, we go to this more button, we click on it and we have create subtask. Okay, let's add some text there. Also some text in the description. And as you can see, the subtask does not have an epic or cannot be directly assigned to an epic. It will basically take the epic of um, the task. Let's create two subtasks. Okay. And as you can see now, we have in the story, we have two subtasks. Another feature that I was mentioning in the previous video that I'm going to show you today, or in this video, is the idea of assignment. Why is this assignment important? Well, you need to make sure that the person who needs to do a certain task is aware of this. At the moment, all of our Jira items are unassigned, which means nobody needs to do it, or it's more like first one that takes the, that sees the task and take the task and work on it. However, in most companies, assignment is necessary and it's also recommended. So how do we assign a task or an item. We have a couple of options. The first one is assigned to me, which basically then assigns the item to the current logged in user. And the second one, which we're going to do for the subtasks, can be opened via the, the menu, this actions menu, and you have assign. So if you remember, we had a couple of developers added to the project. That's also very important. You can only assign an item to a person who actually is part of the project. So let's have developer one. And for this one, let's assign it to developer two.
Okay, that's all about creating task, subtask, and assigning those subtasks. In the next video, we're going to have a look at what you can do in specific Jira issues. Thank you and see you in the next one.